Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. It's actually not morning. It's currently 2.25. We are about to head to the dog park because it's so nice. It is. What's the weather today, babe? 27. I know. It's like summer. That is summer weather. It's 27. so, so, so nice. So we're going to go to the park. Biggie's going to have a bit of a play. Honey's just going to walk on the outer edges because she's not dog friendly like that. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's currently a Saturday, so we're just going to be hanging out. Got a lot of cleaning to do as well when we get home and we'll show you guys what we get up to. Let's go. Also a little car update. It has been going very, very well. We're using the aircon for the first time. It's freaking bomb. I'm going to do a car tour later on this week. Are you going to help me film the car tour? No. Why? So you've been watching all this. Okay, no offense to girls, I'm not saying, but she has been watching a whole bunch of girl YouTubers who did car, like, customizations and they buy like an air freshener and I'm like, what the hell is this? That's that's their like upgrade that like, they oh, did. Oh yeah, I bought an air freshener. I'm like, cool. And some girl like bought a, a decal, a, a decal, <laughs> and she stuck it on her car and she's like, 10 horsepower. I was like, what, what is going uh, on? But, but it's not even called decal, I don't think. it's We call it a decal. Yeah, you know, I think in America they call it a decal. Oh really? Oh, okay. And I was just like, what? What is this? Yeah, she's going to do something lame like that. So if you guys are keen to see my cool ass car tour, comment down below and I'll show you guys like all the functions and things I've been loving because I'm obsessed. Car, so car tour obsessed. is better. I'd rather you do a car tour than like a car customization. Yeah, I'm going to do a car tour and I'm going to talk about like the things I like about the car and all of that. I can't wait. All right, so a little update. We decided to stop by the petrol station and I know this is so lame, but we are going to fill up petrol for the very first time so here we go ah i can't believe it hey babe what petrol do i put in oh you need the key to oh is it 91 or premium 90. okay you can pop your key in oh this is a bit inconvenient to be honest that i have to put a key in here what key oh Dun, da, da, da. Ooh, okay. That is so weird. What do I do now? So I totally failed. Could not figure it out myself. Oh. I couldn't do it. It, it just literally wasn't tells going. you to which I know, way to turn. I bloody, I bloody um, read the instructions too, but I just didn't understand. That's going to scratch the paint! Okay, if, if I put it this way, it's going to scratch the paint as well. So if oh. I... <laughs> I, was, I, mean, I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it. <laughs> I was literally in there fucking waiting for you. Here we go, the first time filling a petrol. Is it going? This is Philly filming. Me filming Philly for petrol. Because <laughs> supposedly this is what she wants. Guys, stop. How much do we fill up? 20 bucks? No, just fill it up to full, babe. Stop being okay, poor. <laughs> So guys, it cost me $46 to fill up 40 litres and I think petrol was like $1.16 today. So usually when I fill up Swifty, um, I think it's really, really efficient. I can usually fill it up the same price for full tank, but this one was just only, uh, I think, half a tank. So I guess to fill up a whole one, it's going to cost me about 80 or so dollars, which is double the price that I used to pay because, as I said, it used to cost me like $40. So this is going to cost a little bit more money but it's worth it you know, guys can you guys hear him he's crying because he sees the park and biggie you're fucking up the interior biggie hi bobby you gonna go to the park <laughs> pretty good but the only thing is that there's only one other dog there so Biggie couldn't really play around usually I swear there's like 20 plus dogs there I think they come a little bit later on because we did go quite early but it was still fun there's also heaps of cops in the back car park I don't know what they were doing but there was like three or four cop cars and just like a squad of them but now that I'm home I'm going to do 
some vacuuming and some cleaning i usually try like to do vacuuming at least once a week because of all the dog fur coming into the new season the dogs are shedding so let's get on to that and let's clean the house So I am kind of halfway finished cleaning. I ended up cleaning the floors, vacuum and everything, and I've organized and done the laundry. Honestly, comment below what your worst house chore to do is because mine is putting away the laundry. I hate it so, so, so much. Like pairing the socks together, hanging things, folding things. I don't know why, I just don't enjoy it. I prefer to mop, to vac and mop or like turn the washing on, do the dishes, anything but that. But what I'm gonna do right now though, since everything is kind of done, I'll quickly show you. I should have shown you all before, but this area here prior was just like three buckets full of clothes, just so messy. How just kept chucking all of his stuff there. So I've cleared this all up and I even emptied some buckets and stuff. So I also made some room for how to put more of his junk and stuff, like just say his t-shirts, his pants and stuff here. Then he's just got some random stuff. But what I'm going to do is, you guys can see, this is pretty bad right here. That's like a bucket and just all of my clothes. I'm going to put all my winter jackets and coats into our spare room and just hang them up. Because now it is spring and going into summer, I don't think I'll need them. So it's kind of just taking up a lot of space in my wardrobe. And now I can hang up like t-shirts and dresses and things like that. So we're going to get onto it. Okay, so I'm done with cleaning and everything now. I ended up making myself a like matcha ice blend you guys gave me some recommendations to have it similar to the starbucks one i think i need vanilla syrup or vanilla flavoring but i don't have any of that so what i did was i got matcha hot water a little bit condensed milk sugar and honey and a bunch of ice cubes and this actually tastes pretty good always 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 but we're about to just start binge watching a new show we started yesterday it's called all american i don't know if you guys have seen this before but it kind of reminds me of the oc that's what Hal said and i totally agree with him it's so good we've already watched five episodes and we started last night so we're probably going to watch another five now and then we have a zoom meeting at eight o'clock as well so that should be fine hey, do you know what five times 40 minutes is what not further than eight o'clock so we can so it's 5 30 right now so we can watch 6 30 7 30 two and a half episodes three because it's 40 minutes babe <laughs> i'm really guys how do i run a business i don't know you tell me honey you tell me <laughs> so i just ended up doing a load of washing because you know it's a saturday clean the house get that all done but it ruined all of our clothes it's happened twice before. We just thought like there was like dirt or like grease or something and I thought it was because Hal washes shoes in there and like maybe he had stepped in something. But it's actually oil grease from the machine itself. So supposedly when we moved from our old house, if it wasn't sitting upright, all the grease just goes over. So we quickly rushed to Woolworths, got this thing right here which cleans it. But I need to show you what it ruined. Oh my god. We also had to go buy like some sad wonder like some stain remover thing i also got like a stain remover spray the jumper it ruined is just like a plain jumper that i have right here i kind of got a little bit of it out but you guys can see all these weird like tire looking marks this one here is just another one of my gray jumpers look at all of that look at the neckline look at this and then this one here is housed like is it nike or a cold wall jumper and the bottom of this is just so black so i'm really worried that this one won't come out because i did try scrub it so hopefully the stain removal will remove that and then my new essentials jumper it's got all of these marks all over it i'm like so annoyed but luckily over here 
We did a black load as well with it and thank goodness it's black because otherwise it would have ruined his CDG jumper and his Saint Laurent jumper. I currently have our kitchen sink full of water and some of the liquid. Uh, I think this is like the stain remover powdered one. You just mix it with hot water. It's got two jumpers in it. So these are like the central one and then uh, how's Nike or a Cold War one. I don't know what brand it is to be honest, but it's supposedly good. And then in here I've got, pardon? Yeah, an ACG jumper guys. And then in here I've got just some of my gray hoodies. Had to use two things because we have no laundry and this one is very, very shallow. So is our kitchen. And then currently we have the wash like cleaning itself out. What was crazy before is it was completely black, but that's a good thing because that means hopefully there's going to be no grease and dirt marks anymore. Who knew you had to actually wash your washing machine, but look at all of that. All the liquid just running around. I'm hoping this works. Otherwise, we will have to buy a new washing machine. Also, as I said earlier today, we have a Zoom meeting at 8 o'clock. It's actually just like a fun thing with like Josh, Noella, Seba, FIFA, Alex and Z. And it's at 8 o'clock. So this is what our little setup looks like. Usually we just have the laptop on the table. But today I decided to get two shoe boxes to make it a little bit higher because we're always looking down at it and it kind of looks funny and like really bad lighting. So hoping this is a little bit better.